Avery, I got something for you. No, don't shut me out. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, don't shut me out of the closet. Come here. Shoddy boom body, always. Hey, this shirt right here, I have not promoted this shirt at all. It's about to be that season. Mine's really crusty and wrinkly. But look, it's a bedded bass with a just swim, just, just, just sleeping on a bed, you know what I mean? Just dreaming of his jig. It's a good shirt on the back. Oh, that's the back, but on the front it's got a, uh, it's a pocket with a, uh, on the front it's got a pocket with a uh, little pocket with the GS logo on it. I don't know why she likes those so much. But if you guys are wanting to help us and, and the Guggen guys, all, all of us, I will link this shirt down below. We're going to have it available for a limited time. We're going to keep it up probably till the betting bass season is over with. For all you guys that are up north, it's about to kick off. But if you want to help us out, support the group, buy yourself one of these really cool looking pocket tees, that will be linked in the description below. And we appreciate and we love every single one of you guys that are helping us out while YouTube is turning on us. So She's growing up so fast, it's crazy. Look at this. Avery, like a year ago, you couldn't even walk. What are you doing? Hi, Mama. Well, you want to talk to everybody? Mama. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You want to talk about bye bye? Bye bye. Oh, what a beautiful day. There was also another thing I have to do this morning. My truck, whenever I turn to like the right or the left, the noise is actually getting worse. It's going. I don't really know what that's about. I had some stabilizers put on the front of it because uh, when you lift it up, the steering wheel gets a little loose, of course. But it, it, I don't know if that's the reason why it's making that noise. I'm not a big fan of it, so we're going to get that checked out today. And I, I feel like every single time I edit my videos, I see this in the background. And I just remember back, hell, when was that? I think that was 2013. God, it, was, it feels like it was forever ago when I was involved in the gaming industry. Now it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's crazy. Crazy to me. Alright, change of plans. Originally was not going to go fishing today, but I am going to go fishing today. It's going to be storming tomorrow, and they can't, they can't look at my truck today, so they can look at it tomorrow. So I'm just going to switch it around. I think tomorrow the video that I'm going to do is like a pegged versus non-pegged, different size baits, and if it affects the movement and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I have never done one of those kind of videos yet, so I think I might do one of those. But for today, we're going to go back to the house, eat some leftovers from dinner last night with Avery and Sarah, and then we're going to go and try, try our best to find some fish on this lake that has been giving me problems. All right, I'm gonna go get prepped. I've got some stuff to knock out before we go. I changed the mic settings on this camera because I was noticing it was kind of getting annoying. There was like a little noise and there was like a, it was just, I don't know, it was like a hot mic almost, but it was, I don't know, it was just making me kind of mad. So I changed it up. Hopefully it sounds a little bit better. If not, then I'm gonna have to punt this camera across the, the street because I, it's getting pretty annoying. But I think, this is the game plan that we're gonna go with for now, for this lake. We're gonna go shallow. We're gonna start shallow. And if I can't find any fish shallow, then I'm gonna go graph deep and I'm gonna throw Carolina rigs and deep diving cranks and jigs. That is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go time on right now. I've been thinking about it after, after I just ate my PB&J and my Mexican food. Yeah, it's a good mixture. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go time on and then I'm gonna let you guys, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, so I just sat out for the last like, like 30 minutes, I got two Carolina rigs rigged up because I hate, hate, hate retying those ones. I break them off because I don't want to break them off. Flipping chatterbait, Texas rig, and this beautiful square bell I did not get to throw yesterday. But that, look how pretty that thing is. That is a pretty, look at that. Now I'm thinking, if I'm using a drop shot or a wacky rig, it's probably going to be, the fishing's really bad and I'm really hoping that's not the case. I think we might be able to go around the bank throwing a wacky rig and catch fish, but I'm looking for some size fish, and I think the bigger fish are probably gonna be deep. Oh, that reminds me, need to grab the graphs. To be honest with you guys, I was expecting the wind to be a lot a lot, lot worse than this. There's really no wind. Maybe we'll be able to get on some shallow. That's where I'm gonna start first. I'm gonna go shallow to the area where they've been like taking down all the destroyed steel from this, uh, another marina like this got destroyed during one of the storms. So I'm gonna go over there and try to play around in that area, see if we can catch it today. Oh, 
that boat has seen way better days. It's sunken. Look at that thing. I'm in four foot of water, and that boat is sunken four foot of water. Oh, God, I just caught a fish out of it. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's not a bad one. I just caught a fish out of a sunken ship. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at that. Right out of that sunken ship, I think. What the hell? There we go. First fish of the day, guys. Cool. I literally just cast it next to that person's freaking headrest or whatever that is. Whoop, that's on top of the ship. It's another fish. Way back in there. What the heck? <laughs> this is so awesome. There was another one way back up in there. Little one. Dude, hey guys, every time I flip it like way back up in there, like way past the, like, I don't even know, I can't see way up in there, but I mean, what's in there? Let's see what's in there. I mean, look, there's a steering wheel right there. You guys see it? <laughs> what the heck? Steering wheel, all the gauges, the freaking windshield. I'm flipping it way up by the windshield and catching fish. Oh God, we're about to run into another one. So I originally pulled in here to fish deep real quick and uh, I saw this, this, this ship right here, this little, I don't know, sunken boat ship deal. And we're trying to catch fish off it. I've already caught two already. I wonder if there's any more. That's the next question. How many bass would really actually get inside of a sunken boat like that? I mean, it's a pretty big boat. It's probably, I don't know, around 30 foot or so. It's big enough to have like one of those under deck things. You know what I'm talking about? Where you can like sleep, sleepers, one of those sleeper cabins. That boat right there. Look at it, barely, barely, barely in the water. We're in there. <clears throat> We're inside the sunken ship this time. We'll see if there's any fish. We got, oh my gosh, there was. No way. Uh, we just skipped it up inside there. Up all the way by the windshield. Let's see if we can get another fish. It's like I just flipped it to the passenger seat or something. There's one. Got him. Oh my gosh, there's another one in there. <laughs> this is crazy. There's freaking three fish already inside that sunken thing. Ah, <laughs> yes. Look at that, flipped it up by the passenger seat, caught another fish that's peeing all over the deck of my boat right now. Dude, that's three fish. I wasn't expecting there to be any fish in there. God dang, bass are crazy. What are you guys doing? Just chilling in a boat. They go from one boat to another. All right, let's see if there's any more. This time, well, I'm gonna flip, seriously, it's like right when I get it up inside there, oh, it's almost a fish every time, it seems like. Oh, that's not how you do it. All right, let's get it deep in there. Oh my, we are way up there. We are so far in that. This might have been the deepest pitch so far. Where's the fish? There's one. <sighs> I don't know why I think this is so funny and awesome. It seems like every time I get deep inside of that boat. <sighs> there we go. Fish number four out of the sunken ship. Yeah, there you go. That's where you want to get. You want to get all the way up inside by that steering wheel. You want to get it in that steering wheel. Come on, this is this is where the fish are. I promise you. They like the contour lines of the seat. The seat cushions are very key. They like bedding on them. You know, I like to sit on a nice squishy cushion. So does a bass. That is the railing of the ship right there that I'm actually getting caught on right now. I think. I think the boat goes out to like right here. I'm gonna let this spot reload real quick. There might be some more fish that come in here, which would be kind of funny. But uh, we're going to head down this bank over here. I'll probably throw something a little bit different. Might whoop out this little square bill. Maybe throw a chatterbait, Sanko, something different. Because I know that that bait will probably catch the fish. But I would like to spice it up a little bit. Spice up this video. Just like I got this dye all over my pants and my leg. Now my hand. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, that's not good. That's, you don't want to, you don't want to crankbait across the top of the concrete. Just like, that's the worst. Yep, don't. God, I suck at fishing sometimes. Look at that. All right. That last spot did not work out for me at all. They didn't want anything moving. They didn't want anything soft plastic wise. So I'm going to go deep. I'm going to go fish in about 15, no, I'm going to say 10 to 20 foot of water. Throw in a Carolina rig and I've got maybe, maybe, maybe like a deep dive and crank possibly. And then we might go work a couple points, but I'm going to go back to that sunken ship deal later. I don't know why I can't find any fish that aren't attached to a sunken boat. That's kind of weird, but maybe there'll be some here. Who knows? Throw at them. Uh, this, I guess. 
Look at them. There's like two trillion fish right here. I don't know if they're bass or what. Oh my God. Got one. They're just on the surface. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh, where'd they go? Where'd you guys go? There was like a whole bunch of them just on the surface. There they are, look at them. Look at them. No way. Oh, there they are, there they are. Look at them. Oh my God, those, those aren't bass. Those are freaking carp. Why the hell? Look at all those carp. How did I catch a bass out of that? You know, sometimes I can surprise myself on how dumb I can be at times. I was like, man, this engine won't start. I'm like, God, why won't it start? You know? Oh God, they're schooling. They're schooling. They're schooling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh, get in, 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 get in. Oh, uh, pulls it. Oh, I gotta turn off my engine. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, look at that. Please tell me that's bass. They lead a chatterbait. Look at him, look at him. There's a thousands of them. Be bass, be bass, be bass. Don't be like carp or something like earlier. Oh, there's one. About to find out what it is. If it's still even on. What is it? Tell me it's sand bass, isn't it? Yep. Look what we found, fellas. All right, my favorite. Good eating right there. Look at them all, they're everywhere. I didn't know what they were. Well, we're going after multi-species today. No big deal. Because those, those freaking sand bass, they destroy top water. Lipless cranks, that kind of stuff. Just absolutely murder it. I'm coming after you, sand bass coming after you right now. I brought out, I brought out your old worst enemy right here, the, the plopper of the whopper. Oop, I just threw it in the middle of you. Dun, 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 dun. Oop, there's one. He's a little, oh, he came off, he came off. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna catch some more of these. If I would've had this, 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 this bait on at the very beginning, like right when I found him, we probably need to tighten that down. We would've caught so many of them. Found them all. Look at them. Oh my God! Look at them. Let's go catch them. On today's episode of Hunger's TV, I chase sand bass around in circles. Dun, 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 dun. Eat the plopper. Eat the plopper. I know you want to eat. There it is. There it is. You guys ever find these on your lake and you guys need some food? Just throw a plopper out there. You'll catch a thousand of them. Oh. Come on. Nope, he missed it. Oh, he's got it now. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he got it again. Catching, catching these fish. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh no, I pulled a Tony Romo. I had it was set up and I failed. Oh, oh, got him that time. We didn't Romo the fish. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him, boys and girls. All right, this is the last one I'm gonna catch. We're gonna go back to trying to find a bass. Bom, 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 bom. Wow, wow, shoot. All right, let's go find some bass. All right, one more stop. And that is gonna be back over near the sunken stuff, the sunken ship. Uh, Sarah said that she wants to pick up some chicken on the way home and I also need to get a new charging cable like extension cord because this boat is not charged. I'm like on 100 and I'm barely moving. So thank God it's not too windy today. But we're gonna stop back over in the last spot and then we'll probably bounce from here. So hopefully we can find some, some fish because that's actually odd after I think about it. The only bass that I've actually caught, other than that one that was out in the middle of 60, 100 foot of water, is back on that freaking sunken ship. And look, there's all those freaking, these, these sand bass here are just going crazy. They're just munching. I don't know what they're munching on, but they're munching. Oh man, another one right here. Man, this is the mother load at the sunken boat. It's right on the back half of this other one. All right, come on out of there. There we go. Oh my. 
No. No. I just got broke off on inside the boat. Wow. Holy crap, guys. I just got broke off in there. That doesn't happen often. Holy crap. I was just thinking, man, maybe I should maybe I should leave, but I'm going to flip in there a few more times. Damn, that sucks. That actually ended up being a pretty fun day of fishing. Wasn't We didn't catch any absolute giants, but you know what? You're not gonna catch them big every single day. It was kind of interesting though, that the fact that we caught all those fish out of that one little tiny area, and then I got broke off at the very end, which you guys just saw, which that kind of sucks, but nah, it happens, whatever. We'll be at it again tomorrow. I am freaking starving. I am so hungry. Sarah said I either get to have like a, a turkey sandwich, peanut butter jelly, or cereal for dinner, because we don't have any food at the house. So that means that I'll probably pick some food up because I'm fat and I absolutely love eating me some food. <gasps> what was that? Oh. I think she's hugging you, boo. Daddy. That's a dog. Doggy. That's you. That's the lens. That's the lens. Hi. That's a mic. Yuck, yeah, it feels weird, right? So, you know, I read through every single comment that comes through on YouTube. Every single one. And one of them that came through was, it was, it was, it was kind of weird. He was asking, why do you carry a gun when you fish? My, my real question is, why wouldn't you carry a gun when you fish? Why wouldn't you carry a gun at all times? Somebody that has bad intentions is not going to not have bad intentions if you're fishing or if you're in the parking lot or something like that. I don't know. That's just me. I always feel it's necessary to be able to protect myself and everything around me. Anybody around me, really. If somebody with bad intentions wants to do something stupid, then the person with the bad intentions is probably gonna have a nice size hole on the other side of them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I love me a good old fashioned good day of fishing that ends with Chipotle. Next question. Why the hell does Chipotle still tell you that guac's gonna be extra? I know the guac's extra. When has guac ever been free at any Mexican food restaurant? I love me a good fashion, just good, good, good glob of guac. You know what I mean? But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow with another who knows what we're going to do episode because today we weren't supposed to be fishing and we did. We ended up fishing. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, that looks so good.